Robagang, welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE 2K23 My Rise, the lock series. A uh, link to the previous episode at the top right hand of your screen where we won the. Uh, what's its face? We won the Pro Japan Wrestling Tournament. So, uh, in today's episode, if I can show you the story progress one last time before we begin, we shall be doing a lot of these uh, story situations. Uh, stealing the show, of course, is the story gate, but I do not want to do a hairy situation as yet because it will bring into the story situation anyway. And I'm thinking it's best that we do the uh, short story versions. You know, we have Justine over here, we have Drew McIntyre. Of course, Justine being uh, the aunt to LJ in the Legacy storyline. And of course, you guys also saw in the Legacy storyline where Tavi helped us in the uh to make the queen's tournament and anyway, let's start with drew mckinton then we shall do justine and then we shall go well on to if it isn't the most controversial man in mysterio you're not following me now are you <laughs> i could say the same to you shouldn't your boot be making contact with someone's face right about now i know right the claymore claymore is taking a little break to recharge i'm heading home for a few weeks to see my family I'm actually heading the same way. Hardly with the similarities between us end. I respect you're doing things on your own terms. I've been there. But if you want to be the top dog, you're going to have to come back to WWE to face the best. Are you ready? Actually, yeah, I am. The better question, is WWE ready for me? I knew I liked you, mate. You said you're heading my way. How about a sparring session when we get there? I'm sure we could both learn a thing or two from each other. Yeah, got me. Count me in. British rules? I want to give you a fighting chance. I know, right? British rules? No problem. That's just my kind of match. Well, you guys have seen Okay, Biting Off play more than you can chew. Good lord. Who writes this stuff? Anyway, uh, you guys already saw in uh, the episode before the last one that we did the british rules uh tournament at the club uk bar where we fought huh, surprisingly tavish for the final uh match in the tournament which we won and made ourselves a really good uh person in the process before we went to the pro wrestling japan tournament which also made us a pretty cool person so uh we shall be fighting drew mcintyre in a british rules matchup because why not so uh yeah we are still back in the uh, club uk wrestling ring so uh attempt to defeat drew mcintyre in a british rules match which is pretty nice uh i'm not so sure attempt to win as you guys know attempt to win means you don't have to win it but you guys know me i am never going to take uh because the game tells me to attempt to win it doesn't mean that i'm gonna not win essentially speaking because I am never gonna take it easy on any of my opponents, including Mr. Claymore over here. So, uh, because it says that we are headed home, it means that we as the lock are probably British, apparently. Or at least uh, spend most of our time in the UK. Psych! Anyway. Yeah, so uh, you guys know the drill. We need to get two out of three falls. Hopefully the ref does not cheat us out of one fall. You guys saw it. Come on, you guys saw it. You reach for the rope, it doesn't matter. So, you know. Yeah, hopefully the ref does not cheat us out of a fall. But, yeah. We're gonna try. Take out Mr. Drew. In this wonderful match. And hopefully speaking, he can... Uh, you know... Take the fall gracefully. Trust, trust me, that's not a top rope move. That's considered a middle rope move. <laughs> yeah. I love technicalities in a game. Oh no. Oh no, no reverse button available. It's fine. Still can't take him out. I don't mind. As long as he doesn't hit the claymore on us, I believe we're gonna be good. Oh, Drew, come on. You don't necessarily think that's what's gonna get you the first fall, do you? Yeah. 
Yikes, we lost. Psych. Nope. Psych. But yeah. The hope is that we can find our way back into the WWE pretty soon. I'm not so sure when we'll be able to do it, but the goal is to make it back there as soon as possible. So, all right, let's try. I hope he can use his uh, resiliency. There we go, resiliency used. So he won't have access to it for the entirety of this episode. Oh God, he's reversed my sickness. All right, we're going back to ground zero on this. Now the reason why I like doing this as you guys know it helps us in it kinda helps us to get some attributes upgrade faster which means we'll become more powerful faster which means we can dominate faster and it's all we want to be honest Wow Oh no he's doing a comeback I'm pretty sure I reversed it, but anyway. One, two. Mm, nicely done, Drew. Got me to a two count. Yeah, this match is going on. Oh no! Wait, his signature is ahead, but how is that even possible? Oh uh, no! Okay, we kicked out. Yeah, uh, after what happened to me in the previous episode, I am not that. Uh, what was it called? I am not that. Uh, happy on trying to use the I'm trying to use the what's it called I'm not that I'm not that happy in trying to use the rough break as a means of escaping a finisher or a pin attempt you know it it's scared me it really has any finisher finisher and finisher and that should give us our first fall hopefully One, two. it did not it did not you guys it did not all right drew it's time for the claymore my guy it's time for the claymore it's time for the claymore it's time for the clay oh lord that did not work Oh lord, he's hit the claymore. <laughs> Good lord. One, two. Oh lord, we made it. We kicked out. We kicked out. We kicked out of the... He kicked out of that. One, two. Oh, what a battle. What a battle. And it's not on camera. Well, it is on camera for you guys. But you know, it's not on WWE. But yeah, what a battle this is turned out to be. And I'm gonna need you to tap out. You can. Alright, we get our first fall, you guys. Right, we now need one more fall. I've never understood where... You see, like, he's already turned orange. Like, he's gotten better health for some reason. And I've never understood why that happens. And why is it that my player never gets... A, a health regeneration. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, wait. Why am I so concerned? My arms are still fresh. Alright, so our goal is very clear at this point. Okay, he's decided to stay stunned in the corner, which means finish our time once more. Alright. Let's try, see if we can get the fall. One, two, and there we go. 
as easy as you like and yeah that was a pretty good uh match up against drew i liked it it was challenging and i think drew actually has a point if you want to prove that we are the best of the best we need to do it consistently against wwe talent caliber type of fighters but you know until we get back into wwe this will have to do because uh you can only beat whoever is in front of you and the person that was in front of us in this case was drew McIntyre. and we are done with biting off play more than you can see oh i hate how much of a mouthful that is anyway uh with that story main part done uh the next story that we wanted to do involved Dominic Mysterio, but I'm thinking we complete Justine's story first and then we can take on Dominic. Congratulations! So how does it feel to be the hottest thing in pro wrestling since Paul Heyman's undershirt? First, it's great running into you, Justine. Second, I'm going to need a minute while I erase that image from my brain. You know, right? Heyman's words, not mine. Set them on my podcast. Any chance you'd like to come onto the show? Talk about everything you've been through since you left WWE? Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of your podcast. Tavish and I listen whenever we can. I'm just not sure I'm ready to start telling my story yet. Oh, come on. Your run in the Apex tournament was incredible. And that's exactly what my listeners want to hear about. What do you say? I'll go easy on you. All right, that's a good dude. No time like the present, I guess. <laughs> Let's do it. Great, let's set up a time ASAP. All right, lost in translation. We're going to be doing this immediately. And I believe once you're done doing this, it shall give us um, enough uh, attribute points to upgrade another start level. Now, if it's just going to be one match like the one we did with Drew, which was pretty surprising, then I'm up for it. So let's talk to Chase. Hey, heard you on Justine's podcast. Loud and clear talking in code again about a platter of stale ribs you threw in the trash. Ah, clearly up to your old tricks. I have to be totally honest. I have no idea who you are. Hi, sir. Name's Chase. Had a stint at the PC recently? Or you might even know me as Ribby. Ring any bells? Not really. Oh, for sure. You're that mascot guy who almost made his WWE. How'd that all play out? Oh, don't play dumb with me. You know exactly how it played out. I never got a contract offer because you told Shawn Michaels to stay away from the ribs in catering, which was clearly code to avoid me. I have no idea what's going on you wow. guys. Listen, I'd love to stay and clear this nonsense up, but Cole Quinn called into my podcast appearance to talk smack, and now I've got to go give him a receipt. Oh, I know. I was listening. I like the part when he said you haven't changed one bit since your mocap meltdown. Oh yeah, that was Cole Quinn. I was we'll fighting. We'll see about that. Good luck, Chase. I hope you get to the bottom of whatever deranged conspiracy theories you were talking about. Oh, I doubt that very much. Yeah, I was fighting Cold Queen in the mock-up thing and he was pissing me off. Now that I am actually excited because I can give him a piece of my mind. I really did not like Cold Queen and what he was doing to me in the What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? In the mock-up thing. And it pissed me off because we had some very simple objectives to take through and he was being stubborn about it. So, yeah, this is... There's no time like the present to go get my revenge on him where I have absolutely no objectives to beat him. Ah, okay, we are in Los Angeles wrestling. No, guys don't need to see my entrance. As I said, these are not major events. There's no need to see my entrance. Or to see this idiot. And, not gonna lie. His outfit reminds me of Chris Jericho the first time he came to WWE. Am I the only one who sees that or do you guys also see that? Okay. It's gonna be easy to take him out, as you guys know. So we're gonna win this match by pinfall or submission. So what's going on? I 
I guess nothing's going on. Oh lord. Okay. I did not see that coming. Unfortunately for you, Chase, I am not easily beaten by a chair. A chair shot is not enough to take me out. Okay. I do not care what advantage Cold Queen has given you, not Cold Queen, that chase dude has given you. You are not taking me out. That's not gonna happen. Instead, now I am just pissed off. So this match is gonna be extremely well curated. Just because of how pissed off I am. Signature time. And finish up time. Okay, you reverse my finisher. I don't care. Yes. I'm gonna have to do much better than that to take me out, dude. You're gonna have to do much better than that, my guy. Oh man, life after WWE is actually even more fun than WWE itself. Oh no! Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Come on, there we go. Beautiful calf kick. Yeah, cool. This is for all the nonsense you put me through. All the nonsense you put me through during the taping of the mock-up. Hey, okay, what's going on? Did he reverse it? No. Nope. 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 Oh Lord! Yes, fans, this is awesome. Oh no! Good, cool. You're gonna have to do much better than that. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh great, you reverse my signature once more. Hi. Oh cool. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You don't get to be good at this. You don't. Not gonna let you. Oh lord. Oh lord, why? I cannot believe it. I absolutely cannot believe it. I call. Well, I'm about to destroy you, so I'm gonna bring you back in the ring. Come on, Cole, wake up. Get up. Ooh. 
really rough. Really. I don't care if he was close to the ropes. You guys showed me that the ropes don't matter. Come on, Cole. There you go. Easy as you like. And we're done. So, uh, this Chase Reeds dude really pissed me off when he tried to hit us with the chair shot. So, let's go see what that was all about because man that was very very disrespectful you just don't come out like that and attack some guy because you thought he said something about you when he did clearly did not all right chase thought you could just blow me off huh not so fast it's not polite to show up without an invitation chase guess they don't teach that in deranged mascot school Burn. a good one but I think it's about time you start taking me seriously. I really can't, to be honest. You want serious? How about a match tonight? And if I win, you leave me the heck alone. I really can't take you seriously. You sure you don't want to catch your breath first? I'm not interested in Cole Quinn's leftovers. Oh, no, I don't even need rest to nope. beat you. You'll actually be doing me a favor. Two wins and one night is exactly the kind of buzz I need right now. Very confident for a WWE washout. Okay, tough guy. If you've got so much gas left in the tank, why don't we make it a no DQ match? Oh, you're speaking my language. Oh man, you think you're gonna be intimidating me, but you're actually speaking my language. Let's go in. Yeah, I do not need so much stamina to beat this guy. I don't actually, I even can start with zero stamina and still beat him. That's how much he's not a threat to me. In fact, to make it better, I wish there was a way I could start the match at orange and zero stamina. Just to show you guys how much I can't take him seriously. Although to be fair, I don't take many people seriously in this match anyway. Alright, Chess, let's do this. You and your purple gear. Alright, so we start off with literally half stamina. It's like the game doesn't want to give poor Chase a fair chance over here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I am the best wrestler in Los Angeles wrestling. Currently. Telling you, love my moveset completely. Absolutely love it. Come on, Chase. Come on, Chase. Give me a challenge. I wonder if I can actually hit you from here. Come on, Chess. Give me a challenge. Come on, Chess. Give me a challenge. There we go. Much better. Come on, Chess. I need a challenge, man. Come on. There is absolutely nothing challenging about this. Wow, Chase. Wow. Like, wow. Anyway, yeah, we're done with that matchup, so you know. That's why I said there was literally no need for me to take that guy seriously. If I had red health and zero stamina, I would have still beaten him. That's how much we don't give any attention to. Sadly, scrubs. Anyway, let's get to the next story. Unless there is something else I need to do about this storyline, which I hope not. Because it would be a waste of you guys' uh, viewing pleasure, which I do not want to ever do that. Because I like giving you guys good content. And yeah, uh, wrestling content is actually pretty fun to view, fun to watch, fun to experience as well. Okay, yeah, we are done. Lost in translation. Thank goodness. Uh, social media. Uh, any chance you can get back for another podcast appearance? Tell everyone about your recent appearance on Law. Probably not. Uh, 
Tell you what, retired or not, he just in, still knows how to make waves in the WWE. Alright, uh, let's see. We have we do have some attribute upgrades that we can get. So we get that. Oh no, that's 11 points available now. Anyway, we are now at a good 94 overall. We have Melee, Funny Fun, and we have Tom available. So our story progress we are doing good so uh let's do uh whichever story dominic had for us so raise your hand if you're incredibly blessed to be in the wwe blessed is right raise your hand if you think dom mysterio never had to pay his dues like yeah uh i don't know do i have to side with mark <laughs> i'm just gonna side Dom works harder than anyone in the business. Check your fact. Alright. Okay, Indicred. So, the story is about Indicred. I do not know why it's a tag match with Mysterio and Dom, but I don't really care. I can beat them both on my own, to be honest. The very moment that my character hits a 94 overall, which he already has, means it's over. And uh, we are in BCW, so I do not know what's going on in BCW, but yeah, since I can't wrestle in WWE, we're gonna have to do it in BCW. Oh lord, I'm teaming up with that guy. Good lord. Oh. I don't like him. Okay, it's time for us to face off against the Mysterious. Oh, it's a tornado tag. Oh, nice. I am good. I am good with that. As long as the... As long as this Cold Queen dude does not mess up, I'm okay. So yeah, let's uh, fight with... Let's fight against Mr. Dominic. Good, Dom. Good. Go fight Ray. Oh, my tag team partners are needed. Uh. Oh no. Really, Ray? Really? Protecting your son, huh? I guess I'm gonna have to fight Ray then. For what it's worth. Okay. I hate how fast Ray is. Good lord. I really don't like how fast he is. let's do this i'm gonna fight you instead because it seems you're not yet over our rivalry from 2k22 absolutely loving it yeah cool you the idiot in you is not even doing anything of importance out there so you know Pretty sure I reverse that, but anyway, it's fine. No, no, I can fight the two of you on my own. Yeah, you'd think my tag team partner would try to do something about it, but anyway. Baseball bat. There we go. Ah. Really? I can't reverse that. Insanely stupid of the game to be honest. Oh, 
you're dumb. I have something for you. my baseball bat. Ow. Ow. Yo, Ray, I am absolutely decimating your son over here. I need you to get off the table. Oh Lord. I have not used... Hmm, interesting. Yes! Oh, this is so good. I love that the table has been ignited. Good. Pick your own prey. Good luck. This is why you do not need idiotic tactic partners like this. Good. You better stop getting in my way. Pissing me off. I'm 
gonna do the finish on both of you. Father and son, I don't care. Because that's, that, that's just how I roll. How did he quit? How did he get rid of that submission? Like seriously, how did Drake get off that submission? Nicely done. Nicely done. No, I do not want to see myself celebrating with Cold Queen. I absolutely despise that guy. Even a victory against the Mysterious is not enough for me to celebrate with him. Mm -mm. No, not happening. Not gonna let it happen. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, really? All right. All right, so uh, we are going to be doing a one-on-one -on -one WWE matchup against uh, Dominic in Los Angeles, Los Angeles Wrestling for some reason. Uh, everybody's like, you know, Dom was carried by Ray in that matchup, which I mean, I guess. Uh, this is gonna make it even much more easier for me because I can now take him out on my own without any issues or qualms whatsoever. So, alright, Dom, where the hell are you? Because we need to get this matchup done. Reversals allowed, I guess. Psych. Yo, he reversed it. Nice. Ah, so quick to go after a weapon, huh? gonna use this to absolutely decimate you. Nicely done. This is easy money, this is light work. You are basically playing with house money at this point. And I'm here for it to be honest. Pretty cool being the person that you know, like regardless what happens, you are just so good. Being the odds favorite to always win a matchup, now that's cool. 
Roja. Come on, Dom. Come on, Dom. Make it tough on you. Oh no, he reversed it. God damn it. Wow, dumb. That was idiotic to say the least. Psych. Come on, dumb. Oh wow, dumb. Are you planning to escape the ring? Because it won't keep you safe. Really won't keep you safe from me. I'm not gonna lie. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, dumb. It's not looking good without dad next to you, isn't it? Is it now? Is it? Oh, what a hit. Nicely done, Dom. Nicely done. Oh, he reversed the signature. Really? 619? Really? I reversed that. I absolutely reversed that. Whoa. Not gonna let you win. Not even close, Dom. Not even close. Hi, Dom. I told you, Dom, you are never safe. Regardless of where in the ring you are, you are never safe against me. Good lord. Good lord. Good lord. Time for a move, thief, my guy. Alright. The move thief ability is broken because it essentially gives you a free finisher if you can pull it off. Which. Why is that in the game? And why aren't you using it yourself if it's in the game? Like, I don't know. For me, it feels weird, like I have my own finishers alongside the finishers of my opponent, just for me to use. 
And I know, yeah, you can only use it once. And even if it gets reversed, you can't use it again. I know, I know. But still, the rewards outweigh the risks of having it, like, by far. And it means that even if you can't, you're not in position to pull off your own finisher, like, because you haven't got a finisher available, as long as you have the move thief available, it means you are always ready to use your opponent's finisher. Again, granted, if your opponent has their finisher on the ready as well, but anyway. Uh, that storyline is done. Attribute upgrade is available at my disposal. There we go. Uh, social media got a gift card to Dom. He didn't have to go compete in the Indies, but he did. It looks like he belong. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, it's taken down. Effective immediately. Sure. All right. All right. So we do have cut films. Uh, we check for if we check our story progress. That is, uh, we have two. We have the monarchy and cat and mouse. Uh, if we check the regions, we don't have much going on. So, uh, looking at the recording time available. I'm thinking it will be best if we do this one of matches to complete the episode, like if you do both of them. And if you check on our story progress, if you do this to one of matches and end the story, end this episode, end this episode at that point, and then the next episode we can proceed with cat and mouse, uh, the monarchy, these two, and then finish off a hairy situation. And then the next episode after that, we shall start the episode at stealing uh, the show. So... Let's do Miley Funny Fans. Are you on vacation from WWE too? Oh, oops. Sorry. Awkward. Totally forgot. Wait. Are you traveling to make it to the LAW show tonight? Joaquin Wilde told me he's on it and his opponent pulled out last minute. It'd be pretty bold to fill in and take a last minute flight. You're going to be so tired. And you already look pretty exhausted. No offense. The none of that pitch was really good to be honest but anyway we're gonna go fight joaquin something i've already forgotten his name but yeah we're gonna go face him in this matchup and then once we're done facing him that matchup we shall see what tom has for us and that is gonna be a pretty cool episode in my opinion with a lot of battles a lot of fights a lot of storylines uh a lot of joaquin wild yeah a lot of storylines uh completed so uh we start the episode with half stamina and third legs by third legs i'm assuming that means jet lag uh yeah so it means joaquin uh has his chances of winning this match uh, match has um increased by just 10 percent so. yeah, not much to be honest So let's do what we can to destroy Mr. Wild and then see what Tom has for us and call it a nice episode done. Of course, uh, we are on the stretch run trying to get back to WWE. I'm not so sure how the game will do it, but I can tell you for a fact that I'm looking forward to see how they pull it off on our return. Or how they pull off our possible return to the WWE, which I am here for. Plus, I'm kind of also hoping that when we're going back to WWE, we can get the opportunity uh, to go for the WWE Championship because that's all we want to become WWE Champion. Now, I do know for a fact that sometimes these games have the uh, propensity to make you the champion at the final fight meaning you don't even have the joy of holding the title for a while you just get the title and the game ends it's like oh wow thank you good lord why 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 I mean, i've been dominating this guy it's insane mr joaquin wild i have been dominating you good lord Alright, uh, I guess we can use the finisher, I guess. 
unless he reverses it. He did not. Really? A rub break? Okay, he reversed my signature move, which is quite unfortunate, but it's fine. Psych! You're queen. You're not safe. Okay, maybe I'm the one who's not safe. Psych! Oh man, I have dominated you, Tinsane. Oh no. Psych! Oh no, you're queen. Oh no, you're queen. Oh no. Don't worry, ref. I'm gonna bring him back into the ring pretty soon. I'm right now to be, to be fair. To be fair. Really, you are queen. I'm trying to get you back in the ring. Nah. Just pinning you won't be satisfying for me. I need you to tap out, you are queen. I need you to tap out. There we go. And we are done. So let's go see what Tom has for us as we wrap up this episode with a lot of content done in this section of the storyline. This this has by far been one of the sections that had, had a lot of content splashed into it. Which to me is insane because it literally had a it literally has four main story objectives if i can I'll, I'll actually go back to the story progression and count it for you guys it has two, four four main story objectives which is insane and even the amount of uh, side story objectives is also insane it's one of the longer parts of the game that i have yet to see happen in a long time but you know we are not here to complain about content we all love content we all love uh seeing the goodness of content take place in our storyline so if you guys check our story progress as you can see like this is a main story thing this is a main one this is a main one so those are already three and this is the fourth one like four main story objectives which is insane uh on the socials thanks for stopping in stepping in last minute certainly appreciate it no worries all right uh we need to you're not doing robin rays in this episode tom but was the last one that we're gonna do in this hey episode. i'm actually happy to run into you wwe's having me cut together a greatest wwe rise and falls video package featuring you which i kind of feel bad about i've got all your footage from your so-called fall but if you get cat to get some shots of you dominating your next match I can try and make it into a rise and fall and rise package. Okay, uh, triple threat match doesn't seem like something I want to do right now. It's gonna be too long and I have like five minutes to spare. So let's see what Robin Ray has. There's an indie wrestler who works airport security as his day job. He keeps randomly checking my luggage because he thinks he can annoy me into using my connections to get him a high profile match. <sighs> Problem is, He's right. Can you please give him a match so he'll stop pulling me for screening? Feel free to really let loose on this jerk. Okay, now this is something that we can't do to end the episode. It's a one-on-one, -on -one, no disqualification match. Uh, let's complete it uh, in like... Yeah, two to three minutes because at that point we are going to be clocking in a cool hour of recording. So... Uh, we are gonna end it at this matchup and then once we are done tomorrow we shall uh, in the next episode actually not even tomorrow but yeah in the next episode we shall begin the next uh match up we shall begin with cuts part of the story and then complete other stuff anyway this guy's called brute force oh yeah he does look like airport security 
or just some guy you'd want as working part of the security detail because he is huge. Only Mr. Brute Force. Why? Why did we miss? Why did we miss? Why did we miss? Psych and triple psych. Nicely done. Nicely done again. Triple nicely done. Oh, Mr. Brute Force. This match is not going well for you now, is it? And there we go. Take you down. Okay. It's good to see that he has no uh, special abilities to him. Which is nice. I actually wonder what his finisher could be. Not that I'm really concerned about it to be honest. Alright. Dude, wake up. I need to hit a signature on you. Oh no. Psych. Hi, Mr. Brute Force. One, two, I'd have been surprised if he was going to kick out, to be honest. But yeah. A very short match that actually perfectly fits the amount of time I needed to take him out. So, in the next episode we shall be picking up from Kat's uh, side storyline. We shall also do Tom's adventures and once we're done with those, both of both of those uh, matches, we shall also proceed on to do um, uh, matches concerning uh, the hairy situation with Tavish and complete it with you know the main story gate storyline that will be left and we shall see where the entirety of the story takes us but until then this is where we shall be stopping so yeah as i said in the next episode we'll do tom's story objective uh we'll also do cat's story objective as well right here and when we look at our story progress, we shall also take on a uh, hairy situation. I, I'm not so sure where the monarchy one is because I, for the life of me, cannot find it. Maybe it's in our DMs because I can only see cats one. Oh yeah, it is here on the real Tavish. Right, so we shall be taking care of the real Tavish as one first and then cats film. And then after cats film, we shall take on Tom's and then do hairy situation in the final story. So yeah. If all goes well, you can be done with uh, this uh, new world border. We can be done with this storyline in the next episode if we are very quick in our matches. Uh, on Legend difficulty as always. So yeah, we can end here. So stay safe, be smart, be kind, tell someone to love them today. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys. Oh,